the BBC would become the SBC, the Scottish Broadcasting Corporation, or maybe the Scottish Broadcasting Company, because John Reith incorporated it. Such a shame what's happening. I still love the UK. Combination of relic thinkers is still of the old England mentality and bring a target for lots of failed governments in the UK. But Captain Contagious were getting a huge stushy made about the people coming in on the little boats, the asylum seekers, calling them illegal immigrants. But one of the problems is the reason they're not necessarily being sent back is that uh, the law is uh, quite extensive, yeah? The international law on that, maritime law, etc. So there we are. Uh, would Ofcom regulate a Scottish broadcasting service, Scotty? Says Robert Scrimger. That would need to be discussed. So there we are. But you would need to remember that Ofcom, yes, uh, the Office of Communication is national and uh, is, uh, you know, looks after a lot of stuff in England and Wales and I think Northern Ireland, you know, that sort of idea. I would need to check all the, the various detail. Um, so perhaps you would set up a Scottish watchdog for Scottish broadcasting. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Now, there we are, and get some worthies on the committee. Scotty, will you bring in a guest now and again? Alistair Campbell, I think that would be an excellent idea, but we would need to bring in a guest via Skype. So somebody like yourself coming on via Skype. But I'll see if I can get you some, uh, some big names as well, because I think it would be nice to have an hour's chat or half an hour's chat with a big... Scottish celeb that everybody sort of knows but doesn't really know and would like to get to know. And I think old McClue could probably manage to prize a little bit of information out of them, a little bit of knowledge and understanding, you know, so we could look at that. I think that would be excellent. Now, uh, do you want me to pop on this one about the monarchy? Let's have a bit of feedback from you or do you want to look at it yourselves? So there are, so it's a moot point there, Robert, about a regulator for Scottish broadcasting, you know, from that point of view. Because, of course, the BBC didn't used to be under uh, the national regulator at all. That was for independent broadcasting. It started off as the ITA, the Independent Television Association. And it was run by Sir Kenneth Clark of Clark's Threadmills in Paisley, uh, Lord Clark of Civilization, Alan Clark's, the politician's father, the late politician's father. And uh, Kenneth Clark ran the ITA. And so when Scottish television started, it would be under the ITA. And then it became the IBA. Because obviously they were talking about regulating independent local radio, ILR, of which there's very little left now, you see. So, um, you know, we need, Scotland needs its own media. And Scotland needs to have control of its own airwaves. I think that's very, very important there. Très important. So there we go. And uh, what we've seen, the way Scotland has handled the virus and dealt with it has been absolutely outstanding. You know, I mean, it really has been virtually beyond reproach. I know there's been one or two wee hiccups along the way, but I mean, if you can imagine that you're a politician like our first minister and this lands on your desk and it's not just your country. It's every country in the world is affected. So you really have to be on your mettle as a leader. And there's not a huge training for world leaders. You've got to kind of carve it out for yourself. A little bit like phone-in presenters on the radio. You have to carve it out for yourself. You know, so there we are. Uh, 